What's going on, everyone? Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Thank you so much for being here. Today's video is going to be super exciting as I show you guys the massive game collection behind me. And not only that, how my collection just keeps growing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, that's the fun part. Collection getting bigger. However, finding consoles, games, and things to collect is hard because you got to be in the right spot at the right time. So I'm going to show you guys today what I found to add to my collection. And you guys are going to have to guess what you think it costs. So put it in the comments below what you think this cost you guys got to kind of guess to try to figure it out because you guys can see it's right here behind me let me show you guys exactly what i found at an estate sale if you guys are wondering how to find garage sales or estate sales there's an app that does it it's almost like craigslist it shows you what the people are selling where it's at what times what days but let me assure you if you're going to be picking up any classic games at a garage sale you want to be there very early if the garage sale say starts at nine o'clock be there around 8 30 gamers are going to be there pretty quick so guys here here is my awesome collection that I've been working on since 2015. Actually, kind of like the end of 2015. But the last couple of years, I've been not really doing what I should be. I've been slacking because I've been streaming for you guys. I've got this rare scope up here, which was very hard to find in mint condition. I've got a lot of things over here for Nintendo and Super Nintendo, as well as Nintendo 64. My rare Robocop versus the Terminator in brand new condition. I even have Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 unopened. Three Game Boys, DS, 3DS X. Got all the Kingsfield games, which are the Dark Soul games, the original ones. All kinds of PS1, 2, and 3 games behind there that you can't see. Down here is some Nintendo stuff. Mario Maker, Wii U, and Switch. Some of the best stuff Nintendo has to offer. Got the Sonic games over here. NBA Jam, bunch of Sega Genesis games in there. Still looking to get Toe Jam and Earl and a couple of the other Sonic games. Got a bunch of GameCubes down here and original Xboxes that all work. Genesis, every model of PS1. PS2s and PS2 Slims, all the different models down there. In television, which is the original, and I do mean original Nintendo right here. Got a bunch of those, different Ataris. Got another Super Nintendo over here, and of course, my beloved Super Famicom. The original Famicom right here. Purple Nintendo 64 with Smash Brothers, a bunch of other Nintendo 64s, bunch of Dreamcast Super Nintendos. Another Nintendo 64 and NES, more Atari stuff. Redbox Wii is the limited Mario anniversary, which is dead down there at the bottom. Those are my Wii. More PlayStations over here. My Terminator poster because Arnold is the man. The best action star ever. The only one that can even come close is Sylvester Stallone or maybe Van Damme. That's it. This is like a late 80s, early 90s game room. Even Spider-Man's just hanging around up there. So here is the collection that I found really cheap. Some of these games are extremely expensive to find. Others are not. Dino City, not really a popular game. Donkey Kong Country 2. This is is a much harder game to find outside of like, you know, eBay at a higher price. Jungle Book, another one, not super desirable or hard to find per se, but usually on eBay and whatnot, most of these games are. Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, a very desirable game and a very hard one to find at that. Rival Turf is a classic. It's a great one outside of eBay. Finding this at a garage sale is pretty much impossible. Home Alone 2, same thing. Another game that's relatively hard to find at a garage sale. You're most likely looking at eBay, or offer up stuff like that, Facebook Marketplace. And it also had Home Alone 1 in the bin as well, which is crazy to see that I got both of those at the same time. Also had Street Fighter 2, another game that is very hard to find. Pinocchio, not so desirable. Some people might want it, but hard to find. Another great game, very desirable, very expensive. Double Dragon's one of the best and very highly desirable games. Another game, True Lies. I don't know how desirable this game is, but it's not easy to find at garage sales. You really gotta look into the used market. Anything LJN made is really not that good. LJN is actually out of Lindenhurst, New Jersey. It's not really a creative name if you ask me, right? Super Mario All-Stars, one of the greatest games ever made. It has Super Mario World with it. This is a desirable game. Expensive and hard to find, and for this to be in the garage sale pile as well, it just blows my mind. How could I possibly have found this game game at a garage sale along with all the other good games as well. Another game, Chuck Rock, not very desirable. Sony did not make very many good games, if I'm being honest, uh, back in that time. They were just not good. Uh, they ended up creating their own console only a few years later, and they did a great job with that. Another Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. So there's actually two of them. Not only that, there was a very dirty Xbox One that does work with zero issue whatsoever. Comment your guess down below. I'm gonna put the answer there any second now. 14 games console. 
25 bucks. This was a steal, an incredible steal. Hope you guys are having a great day and you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a like, comment below. Also subscribe, tap the bell. Be sure to follow me over on Twitch and Facebook for all the live game streams and all the socials everywhere, including TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Acrylics, the one and only. But that's gonna do it, guys. We'll catch you on the next upload or live stream. Peace and love for you. I'm out of here. Let's go.